источники сообщают о том, что внутри ГРУ происходит разбор полетов, что... We took the name, pantronymic name and uh, birth date and uh, looked into databases in different regions and we started from St. Petersburg because his uh, old passport uh, was supposed to be issued in St. Petersburg. So we immediately found only one person, Alexander Eugenievich Mushkin, who um, is who has the same uh, birth date and uh, the same name and patronymic name. Um, so um, we started looking into his biography and saw that he moved into Moscow. Uh, then we found his car, and through his car we found his new address. And bingo, his new address was uh, Hrashovskaya Chasse 76, which is headquarters of GRU. In the end, we also went to his native village, and then we found dozens of other interesting facts about his biography. So the most interesting fact is that he was personally gifted by this star of hero of Russia, which is the most important award you can have being a military guy in Russia. So um, uh, he, there is a picture of Vladimir Putin handling this star to him, which is standing on a shelf in, in his grandmother's home. Um, so we spoke with like, I think a dozen of people there uh, who all knew that fact and they told that this uh, star is for his operation in Ukraine, absolutely the same as uh, with Chipiga. And also, I think that Vladimir Putin um, a little bit differently uh, looks at the situation because um, I don't think that for him being caught as a liar is uh, something super important. So we see that in Western politics, this is something huge and it is even more important than uh, this um, assassination attempt itself. Uh, because he's like leader of the country who is like openly lying to everybody. That means he's not trustworthy in any question. But uh, in, in, in Russia, that is not the thing that it is discussed. The, the most uh, important thing for Russian media and Russian like bloggers, people who follow the story, is how Juryu could be so stupid and uh, w w what is the chaos inside the system if all this information appears to be so open and easy to access for anybody, in, even for like two journalists with laptops like we with Belenkets. So uh, Mishkin is a very typical GRU guy, so actually he has a lot of in common with Chipiga, so he uh, grew up in uh, faraway province, so for him military career was something uh, super important and his way to success uh, and these are usually the people who serve there it's not like SVR where um, it's like f foreign intelligence where people living undercar un undercover like in like Americans series uh, but this is like just uh, uh, simple soldiers who uh, participate in like military conflicts like in Chechnya or in war in Ukraine and uh, then they are trained a little bit more to do something more complicated, like this poisonings or, uh, I don't know, something like, um, like cyber attacks. Uh, and uh, they are usually, uh, they, they're usually pretty poor guys, uh, at least before they became heroes of Russia. And so mm, they have no real alternatives.